Another type of data, data in MATLAB is uh, cells. Cells are similarly similar to arrays, but you can put different data types in the cell, but, but you can't do the same thing in array. Let me just give you an example. I start with clear, close all CLC, which is my typical right line at the beginning of my, my scripts. So I want to create an array and say A, and the next one I want to create for one, um, and here I want to give two as a string and true as a um, uh, logical variable. And if I press Control Enter, I'm going to see an error that these uh, don't exist. Oh, basically, well, that's the problem that I've had over there. It says that the um, it cannot convert from logical to character, which basically try to convert one to a character two. But if I wanted to actually have something like this as a, uh, um, say, variable A, I could make it as a cell. And to make cell, I, I'll have to replace the brackets with curly brackets. So if I do this, do that, and say this is 100, and this is name, and this is true. So if I control enter this, run this part, you can see that stuff are created as a cell. Now I have a cell called A. It's three by one because it has three rows because between each of these I have a, uh, a semicolon and I can do say A, which is actually printed there. I can say A uh, curly bracket one it will give me a hundred, which is the value in the first bracket. And then I can say a curly bracket two gives me the string name. And I can say a curly bracket three, which gives me logical one. I can also have an array in my um, cell. So 100, 150, and let's say something called 800 um, and make this true and then in the, in the next line I'm going to create an I of 5 and do this. Press enter. Now A has 4 rows and 1 column. So if I look at the 4th row of my um, cell, which is A, I'm going to have a 5 by 5 ident identity matrix, which is created by this command. Now, if I want to reach one of a certain portion of this matrix, I can do this. I can say A, 4. Now, give me from row 1 to column to row 3, and from, say, column two to column five. If I do this, it will give me row one to row three, which is these, and then column two to column five, which are going to be one, two, three, four, or two, three, four, five. So basically, uh, this portion of the, the five by five matrix was given to me. If I clear that and say A, curly bracket 1, it's going to give me 100, 150, and 80, or 800. And let's say I want to extract the first two, 100 and 150. I say A, curly bracket 1, parentheses 1, 2, 2, gives me just 100 and 150. Now the third one is actually a string. Uh, actually, the second one is a string. And if I say size a2 and close that, it's going to give me the size of it. So it's a 1 by 4 array, and each array element represents one of the characters in the string. So if I said 
a two from three to end that gives me and that was kind of a joke I wanted to make in here um, so the the last two characters and the letter or in the string name are me or M and E so this is the, the structures or uh, the cells that um, can take any type of variable like I had a uh, row array here I had a string with four characters I had a logical value and I had a five by five matrix so you can put as many uh, types of uh, variables in a cell as you want and you can create uh, them uh, it could be similar to um, dictionaries or uh, tuples in array or in Python that uh, you can have multiple different types of ver variables in a single list or single tuple and reach to reach them so this is basic uh, explanation of um, cells in um, MATLAB we will get to this like when we want to read texts from text files or some other types of data that we will use later in the script writing or doing these tutorials how to use uh, the cells but this is this should give you a good introduction to cells in MATLAB